Hi, I'm Kwai Chi and I am going to be reviewing the Windows Vista speech recognition program. I've got a headset here, I've got a camera set up out of your shot. Um, just to go on this screen here, I'm not going to use any screen capture software um, because I'm going to run my PC light so that it can't cheat, oh, you know, you can't say well the speech recognition program isn't working or anything because of um, anything that's anything else that's going on my computer. So I'm going to, uh, I've got it set up at the moment, which is um, what you can see here, um, why it's saying it's, it's sleeping, because to start it you need to say start listening. Um, and uh, it, it didn't understand me there because I was talking still if I just say it separately it will start anyway I will have my camera set up to uh, see what my screen sees uh, you can also see what my screen says and as I'm talking through what I'm going to be saying and, and talking about the recognition program I'm going to have the thing running at the same time so let's start yeah uh, start listening Wow, it's beeping non-stop at me. That's weird. Open WordPad. Okay, that worked without m much uh, much problems. I'll just uh, whack up the size so that it's easy to see. <laughs> C? No, not that C. C. Okay, I'm just going to move this mic a bit closer, maybe it can't hear me properly. Yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. You have to keep continuously going, go back and back and back and forth, um, trying to correct all the things that it gets wrong all of the time. Yeah, as you can see, it says continuously going to Basque. What the hell is to Basque? And sort slam time. That's right. That's uh, exactly what I just said. Uh, meet Michael better closer. Yeah. Did I just say that? <laughs> well, it got Michael better closer correct the second time around. <laughs> now the. When you go through the training program, it says that you need to have a proper microphone. This is a proper microphone. I got this out of my Dragon Naturally Speaking set. So this is a noise cancelling microphone. It's got a little boom mic right here with a little foam wrap around for wind noise. So if you breathe heavily onto the microphone, it won't take the signal. It should just take the things that you say um, into account. Wow, this is a really interesting story about microphone healing wine and Michael or something. And Connell, wow, don't know what Connell is. Um, so I thought it would be interesting to talk about this and you can see me talking about what I'm saying and then uh, you can play this back and read the whole transcript of what's here on my blog and uh, you can play the two together uh, or actually if you've got 1080p then you can just play this video in 1080p because um, I'm just uh, a little figurine now um, in the picture in picture so you're, you're mainly viewing this and uh, it's just remarkable um, how rubbish this um, thing is. I've just noticed it says Taunton O'Connell. When the hell did I say Taunton O'Connell? Who is Taunton O'Connell? Why would anyone say that? What? Why? <laughs> it's odd. <laughs> you know, I went through the other day and I typed in, well I, I dictated um, this uh, short blog after spending over an hour training the 
speech recognition program to recognise my voice. I went through the training, more training, and yet more training. And then I started up WordPad, and uh, I started talking into it. And I was trying in a very new newscaster fashion to speak and enunciate my words properly. As Microsoft keeps telling you to do, it says, well, it's not our fault that the speech recognition program doesn't work, it's because you're not enunciating your words properly. And, uh, well, I thought, well, who, who, who does? Even newscasters have accents these days. Who has a pitch perfect, total, uh, fine enunciation type of... It just deleted everything! What the hell? <laughs> what was this? I just laughed and didn't understand what it was. But it got what the hell. Uh, I can't believe it just deleted everything. That was unbelievable. That is unbelievable. Shucks. Well, you won't be able to read the whole transcript after all. You can only watch it on 1080p. Whatever's left of the document, I will post up. How's that? Uh, this is ridiculous. You know one thing I found funny when I was doing this the other day? I found that when I wanted to say I'm running this using Microsoft's Vista program, speech recognition program, I noticed that the word Vista comes up as Mr. Oh, wow, look at that. Microsoft's Vista program. It did come up. So it does learn. Well, okay, it doesn't learn that well. <laughs> it's come up with Mr. again. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I had to train it over and over again. And, you know, you, you correct it. I, I, I'll show you what I mean quickly. If I say, correct director. Correct director. It comes up with some options here, and then you just pick one. So uh, I'll choose one. Okay. So um, I had to keep going back uh, and changing it, and it's supposed to learn in real time. So if it makes the same mistake once, and then twice, and then three times. It's supposed to never make the error again. Yet, whenever I said Vista, it would come up with the word Mister. Yeah, well, this time it's not even coming up with Mister. Vista now turns into the to it would or Mister Lister. <laughs> Oh boy, this is funny. So, uh, yeah, oddly, you would think that Vista would be a word in the dictionary on Microsoft's own program, uh, yet it just kept coming up with um, Mr. or something else, and now it's just talking absolute garbage. Uh, everything that's coming out of the speech recognition program just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And, uh, you know, I'm talking quite well for most people. I enunciate my words fairly well. Um, it's not perfect, perfect, but in no way is it rubbish, you know. Um, I do um and ah sometimes. But you would think that a speech recognition program 10 generations on would be able to cope with this kind of thing. Well, it's a free program. It comes with Vista, it comes with Windows 7. So maybe have a go yourself. If you've got Windows Vista or you've got Windows 7, then go to your speech recognition um, bit, activate it, go through all the training. It's in your control panel and uh, even the most basic version of Vista has got the program so just go into it, try it out yourself open up um, this program here, uh, WordPad and start talking and see what you come up with try and um, talk about something, maybe about the program and then copy and paste uh, all the 
stuff that it comes out with on my forum. Uh, I'll put the link in the uh, description of the video and also on the end of the blog so you can find it easily and uh, post whatever you have there it'll be quite fun uh, to see what everyone has come up with well if you're asking me uh, what I would give this out of 10 uh, I would have to say it's a very clever program however inaccurate it is it is quite a clever thing you know, speech recognition turning what I say into a load of ones and zeros must be so incredibly difficult and you know for that extent I really appreciate what the developers have done honestly but as for the program itself I would say that if you speak anywhere faster than what you can possibly type then it doesn't keep up with you very well at all um, as you can see from uh, trying to read this uh, as I talk uh, apparently I've talked about Alan or um, I haven't actually been reading it, I've just been looking at you but it, I can tell there are a lot of mistakes and if you can imagine trying to go back and correct all your mistakes um, that well not your mistakes you have to actually do all the corrections through the voice program itself because if you don't it will never learn so that is very very time consuming in itself very time consuming so don't bother just uh, go out and maybe buy dragon or something uh, or sit at home order it online yeah, I know you have online access because you're watching this video so well I'll test out that program I'll get that program well I have got that program that's why I've got the microphone the programs right here it reckons I can um, speak at 120 words per minute into this program so we'll put that to the test quite soon and uh, as for this program however clever it is however free it is is made by Microsoft one of the biggest companies in the world and software wise should be right up there and it has failed big time so I give this a whopping 2 out of 10 until next time take care